Hello and welcome to the Geek Lab and today we're going to have a look at this which is the Dragon Touch HD web camera. These can be sourced from many sites for around £35. This one was very kindly brought to me by Neil Simpson who uh, has bought this to help me with my live streams. It's very kind of you Neil and today we're going to get it out of its box, hook it up to the £30 iMac with OBS and see if it's actually any good. Let's get on with it. Right, so here it is in its box. The box is nothing to write home about, but the box isn't the star of the show. That's not what we're here for, really. We're here for the contents, which the camera's in its bag. And we get some instructions. Uh, obviously, this is a Chinese product, but the instructions are not too bad. Well, they're not bad at all. Especially when you consider this is not a complex thing. So that's that. The camera itself comes in a zip tie bag, which is unusual. But that looks like just like the one you'd use for sandwiches or something. Anyway, yep, the camera itself it has a just lightweight plastic. Doesn't feel heavy at all. Has a camera. Now it does say that uh, you can change the setting on this, but in reality, no. The stand allows you to either put it on a tripod or you can put it upside down and clamp it to your computer and it does detect when you turn it over which is good it has a, a moderately long lead which is also not bad uh, for stretching it out or doing other things so yeah it's about what a meter something like that yeah that's not bad so yeah there's nothing major to look at but let's see how it performs. And as you can see, after plugging it in, I had no problem putting it on the top of the little iMac here. The camera was very easy to set up, just adding the camera itself to the video feed and then the audio from the camera to the video feed popped straight up. And as you can see, that was easy enough to install to put in, first of all, the video and now the audio. And although you can see with the video, it's very widescreen as it's advertised on the box. It's, uh, it works. Picture quality. It's good. Colours, yeah, we can improve them slightly. Uh, but you may notice one slight problem. Audio. It's a bit off, isn't it? It's a bit north. Uh, so, what we're going to do now is see if we can use OBS to improve picture and improve the audio. Let's see what we can do with this thing. So in we go and we just tweak a few settings on the video and we can get it looking how we wish. It's a pretty good video on this and I'm just going to go in and put a quick bit of noise suppression on the feed and see how that does. So we've done some tweaking and I've listened to the audio and it's improved but it's not brilliant. It's serviceable, but for the price I would expect a little bit better. On the other side of the coin, you're getting quite good picture quality. Uh, now, this is my limited skills, and colours are you know, due to my limited skills. You'll probably get this better yourself, uh, get it to your own uh, requirements. There's not much in the way of noise, it's well lit. Uh, yeah, picture wise, can't really fault it, especially the price, but audio is a bit of a failing but you could get this camera knowing that the picture quality is good at this price and use another source of audio if you wish to uh, what we're going to be using this for is as a secondary camera to look down on me while we're playing games so you can see my ugly mug isn't that lovely right so the dragon touch hd camera is it any good well 35 pounds uh, it's got good picture. It's a nice wide angle as it says. Not much noise at all. Good uh, contrast on it and you can improve it using OBS. The question is whether you're ready to accept the sound quality. You can improve it using programs like OBS but you're still limited and it's whether you can put up with that as your audio source or use a separate mic uh, as an audio source. That's the real question. Is that worth it 
to you. How does it compare to other hammers on the price bracket? I do not know because I do not have any. Uh, but before you go out and try this one, well, you've got some video samples here to compare it to others if you wish. Is it worth it? Well, for me, yes, because I'm going to be using it as a secondary web camera. We're not going to be using the audio from it. So, I hope you found that short video informative. Uh, please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you do. Please also like the video and you can join us on Facebook, Twitter and support us through Patreon if you wish. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>